Hey guys, happy Saturday to everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back to make a video. I'm back to change Monroe for those that have been asking about her and worried that she may have left me. She's right here. And this is why I haven't wanted to change her because I love this on her. I love this on her. However, we're going to change her and put her in her new outfit. <laughs> the only dilemma I'm having is like, okay, which shoes should I put with it? So we'll have to see how I feel when the outfit is on her to which pair of shoes. Because I feel like this outfit deserves some shoes. And we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. Happy weekend, y'all. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you. My weeks are just swallowed up and in general, just with work every week. <laughs> but this week was especially, I don't want to call it traumatizing, but I feel like it has traumatized me. Um, you ever feel that way, you guys? <laughs> and when I mean, what I mean by you know, my week traumatized me and I'm sure we all have these weeks, but like, first of all, it was either on the 8th or the 9th, we had a full moon. And ever since then, weird oddball things across the board, like in every aspect of my life has like weird stuff has happened. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's been, it's been an oddball week for me. And I've spoken to some of my coworkers, uh, a couple of friends, and it's been the same for them. <laughs> so I know it's not just me, thank God. But I'll tell you what, right down to people that have been doing their jobs for forever and a day, suddenly forget what they're doing or how to do something. And you're just like, wait, but you've been doing this like for forever. <laughs> this should be a no brainer. And no, everybody's just struggling. We're all riding the struggle bus apparently this last week. And then on top of that, I'm going to show you this. You guys are probably going to really laugh um, because, well, I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm going to show you my finger. See that? Y'all, I'm not one for doing, I don't do my nails very often, so you get bare nails. But that is where... <laughs> Two days ago, three days, two days ago, I was shaving, <laughs> as I always do in the shower, and um, literally sliced through my nail right down to the meat of my finger. <laughs> when it happened, I was literally like, it was one of those days where my day started off not so great. Like, and when I'm saying not so great, like stupid things were happening. Like, I've been having trouble with the postal service and packages going missing already and we're not even to the holiday season yet <laughs> so it's literally been like one thing after another then google did its thing ads ad i should say adsense for all those that are monetized out there you probably all got the same email that your adsense account had been removed or canceled canceled was the word they used and Literally, I started my day where I should not have even looked at my email and saw that. So then I panicked and was like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't panic because I make a ton of money off my videos or off of YouTube. And I was worried about that aspect of it. What I was panicked about was who canceled it? Why? What is going on? And the email was of no help. So I log into my account and all looks fine. Everything is still there. And... After talking to Michelle, because I let her know, I'm like, I'm so stressed out. And then she found, when she told me she got the same email, I was like, oh, this is totally a glitch or something. And then she had done some research that I guess AdSense is no, YouTube is taking over the AdSense payments now instead of AdSense, something to that effect. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But I think all is fine. But that's how my day started that day that this happened with my fingernail. Um, then I had four missing packages from the postal service. That was the only reason why I looked because I want to see if it updated to show anything different because it showed that the previous day, my packages is all had all been delivered, which they had not. <laughs> so I was only, that was the only reason why I was checking my email. No joke. And then the AdSense thing popped up and it was literally just a debacle 
uh, after debacle all day long. And I was determined not to let that ruin my day. Cause I'm like, you know what? The packages will show up. It's probably some fluke, someone new, whatever. And it'll be a fine. I just got to get through the day. But it was literally a full day of that the other day. And then at the moment I sliced my freaking fingernail, I literally, I may have yelled it. <laughs> I was like, seriously, <laughs> like, why is everything today? Gonna, it's just so hard. And I just, I started to just laugh about it because it, what else can you do? When you have so many things going wrong, you get yourself kind of into a headspace where you allow things to get you in a funk. I think that's like the ball gets rolling for just more to happen. <laughs> so the moment I was like, take a moment, take a breath, it'll be fine. Your packages will show up. The AdSense thing, it'll work itself out. I'm sure it's fine. And for any of those of you out there who monetize your videos, you know the hoops in which we jumped through to get verification and get that set up. They really make you jump through hoops when you're setting up payments and stuff like that. It's a pain in the butt. That was more of what I would have been annoyed with. If I had to do that all over again, that would just, oh, that would just take too much of my time. I don't have a whole lot of time right now. <laughs> that was what was also going through my mind. It's like, I don't want to have to do this again. <sighs> but... Everything ended up working out fine. All four of my packages came that afternoon and the postal person was like, I swear they didn't give them to me. I, I didn't know. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just glad they're safe. I'm just glad that you have them and now I have them. Hallelujah. Because now, but now I'm getting worried, you guys. Like, is this how it's going to be for all of Christmas time stuff? Oh, that's so cute. I'm so excited about this on her. I'm just wondering if I put the tights over these or leave this showing like this. I don't know which will look better. I feel like this looks funny this way. And that I will want that showing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is that how I want it? I'm trying to think how I did the last one because it bothered me one way and it, but it worked the other way. And I think it was this. I think it was the tights over top of the onesie. I know, I think they're the weirdest things. Um, and there's so much yard work going on around us. So if they hear like all sorts of noises, that's trucks and things. It's because everybody and their brother is out today doing all their yard work because it's like 65 degrees out, sunny. It's a little windy, but it's just beautiful outside. So everybody's trying to get stuff done before the weather turns because it's about to. Like it's it's totally gonna turn. It's gonna get foul. And it'll happen very quickly. And I think my other half just got home so he's gonna probably make noise too <laughs> because that's what happens y'all I can attract everybody and their brother to suddenly come around when I make a video I cannot make a video for weeks on end and nobody will bother me nobody will be around when I when I'm doing things but suddenly I make a vi if I pull out my camera to make a video you bet your butt or you bet your bottom people are gonna come flocking distractions noises you name it it's all gonna suddenly appear at my doorstep <laughs> And your hair looks a little messy. We're going to have to fix that. And this looks like it's a little, a little long. I wonder how, why they make these straps so long on newborn or young baby sizes. So I'm going to have to like tuck that in, but it'll be fine. I'll make it work. I just want to love this on her. You know what I mean? <laughs> All the hype over finding it and getting it and thinking I'm going to love it. And if I don't, I'm going to be really bummed. Let's see. I'll just tuck it. We can just tuck it under. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll take up the slack. That is really, I like the colors too. I really like the colors. Oh, I guess we can take these off. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually been on camera changing her. I feel like I'm back to old school video making. <laughs> old school in it today, guys. That's what we're doing. But this is such a cute little, and see, it just comes straight to her knees. So you actually will get to see the little characters on her knees, which is really cute. So these, let me show you the two choices. And I think I know which one I'm going to go with. But maybe I'll think differently. So I was thinking this. I feel like it just goes with the colors. It's like a pale pink. And I feel like it's just pale enough pink to go with it. Or, but I don't really love that too even though it matches her tights i feel like this is the color to go with yep 
I decided. It's so hard when I'm pulling out things. I never know which, what I'm going to like when I get something on her. And I know this isn't the same color pink as what's on the tights, but it's a variation that goes with it. It's a nice accent, I think, that is just enough, close enough in the family of maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I think it just goes with the tan and pink and blues and stuff. Now I got it. See, this is, see, it does have a foot in it and it's not horribly big and loose, but I like to make sure that, and look how, like, what's that all about? Can you see that? I'm going to have to figure that out, make sure it doesn't become a hole because they're brand new. <laughs> Whatever, as long as I can tuck it under, she'll be fine. But yeah, so I like this color with it. I think that that's going to be perfect. Yeah, it goes with the vibe, something about it, even though it's not exact pink match. It doesn't have to be. It can be in the family of pinks and it'll go just fine. Goodness. Oh, so cute. You are so cute. And I think that it does go best with the tights over the, the onesie. I don't know, I have this a certain look that it needs to be, I guess. I don't know what my problem is, you guys. It's the OCD. It's very strange. I can't really describe sometimes why I like things the way I like them, but I just do. Um, you're cute. You're so cute. My goodness. This baby. This baby is so cute. So, I just put you guys around this way so you can see more of the outfit so you can see the little characters on her knees I don't know do you guys think that that looks right or should it be where you can see the onesie see this is where I I feel like when you're looking at this and you're holding her I feel like having the tights showing would be the way I don't know the struggle is real but I think that the color of the shoes do go well with the combination because if I had obviously if I had baby shoes that were this color but I do not have anything even remotely close like it just doesn't exist and I and I haven't bought like I was saying in the previous video I haven't bought things for my dolls in quite some time like that was the first purchase in quite a while and so yeah it's not like I've been buying up things and I do have a lot of the cry these are cry and company I don't even know if this Etsy shop is even around anymore I hear the mailman. I don't have anything coming today though. <laughs> but that's the company. It's an Etsy shop. So if you look up Crya and Company, they have really tiny shoes. They really truly are a size that is a proper fit for Monroe. And she has pretty petite feet. Um, so I think they're they're also like the colors are great. They're suede. They're soft. They're just they're beautifully made. Hmm. Sounds like they're getting out of their vehicle to deliver me something. Huh, about that. I wasn't expecting anything today. It's making up for lost time, must be. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is Miss Monroe's outfit today. Hopefully, you enjoy it on her. I think it's really, really sweet. I do. I think it's really sweet on her. And, yeah. And her hair's a little messy. But that's okay. These things happen. She's just been hanging out in my um, office, so it's not like I've been really messing with her a whole lot. So there you go. All right. There she is, guys. I'll see you when I see where I have to see when I start brushing. I really want to <laughs> fix it all. She has a beautiful swirl in the back at the back of her head. Um, and so I like to make sure the swirl is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, there we go, sweet girl. I don't know, I'm weird about having the hair be just so, especially her hair. And I don't really generally brush it a whole lot. I just don't generally need to, for the most part. But I like to make sure that it's laying right. And in the camera, sometimes it, come, it comes across 
It's like she's got bald spots. And I'm like, well, she doesn't have bald spots. It's just how the camera's lighting is picking it up. And it's just weird how that happens. And then it makes me paranoid. And I start looking her head over like, is she losing hair? But no, she's got, she's got all her hair. <laughs> I'm sure she sheds a few bits here and there because it's inevitable with any silicone doll, especially um, that it will happen occasionally. But after four and a half years, she's still got a good head of hair on her. So we must be doing something right. So there she is, guys. My little sweet girl. She's so sweet. My goodness, I love this baby. All right, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed the old school, get back to old school here video. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.